Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm using all new products. I'm excited. This look was fun. It was interesting. It took some time. So enough of me rambling and let's get right into the video. Okay, so I am going to prime my eyelids with concealer. So I'm gonna use my concealer palette. I'm just gonna take one of my beauty blenders that I already have over here. Okay, and so I also have a new baking powder, so I'm gonna use the Cody Airspine loose face powder. Oh, I'm excited! I like trying things. In my Kylie Jenner palette with the brush that it came with. I'm going to take the color Crush and put it in my crease. Super light. I want it to look soft, but I want it to look like, bam, bitch. Yes, yes for the good, <laughs> yes for the good transition shades. Okay, now with this Duchess color, I want to go back and put that like on top to enhance this transition shade. I don't want this part of my eye to get covered. I'm just gonna make sure it doesn't. But ooh, ooh, this side kind of looks brighter than this side too. We kind of blend it out some more. Okay, now that I'm done with that, I am going to go in with the Sorbet shade. Just, um, I wanna kinda put it inside my crease area and kinda towards a little in the front. Cause I like that, I like the, I like the shimmer it has to it, so. Now, I never ever ever have used a glitter glue, so I decided to pick up a glitter glue, but I got the Too Faced glitter glue, and this that kind of... Let me open it. I always ruin packaging when I open so I don't know why. Like, I just opened this so ugly. Like, I don't even want to show y'all because I should be ashamed of myself. But this is the glitter glue, so... Okay, I'm struggling a little bit. That was a bad idea. Just take this dense as brush right here. Do it again. All right, so I'm gonna use two glitters because I want this to be like, ooh, popping pin. So the first one I'm gonna use is this white glitter, and then I'm gonna use this orange glitter. And I'm just using craft glitter. Um, I don't see anything wrong with using craft glitter, but if you do, then I mean, don't use it. But hey, I feel like glitter is glitter. And I let my Morphe palette in. Just to darken it a little bit, this like burgundy shade. I don't want it too dark, so I'm gonna blow some of the excess powder off. Okay, 
All right, next eye. I'm so not used to all this. Oh, okay, so now we're getting in with eyeliner. So it's gonna be the NYX Liquid Black. Um, just regular eyeliner. On to foundation now, finally, after 20 long years of doing eyeshadow. Okay, so first I'm gonna moisturize my face. I'm using this Equate Moisturizing Lotion. I have really, really dry skin, so yeah. So now I have the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base Primer. So, so I'm gonna just open it. Ooh. So I'm using the L'Oreal uh, Infallible 24 Hour Total Coverage Foundation. I'm in the color 309, so I'm hoping this is the right color. It might be a little bit too dark. I really didn't test it that well while I was in Walmart when I was doing it. So, let's get started. So the beauty blender I'm using is just an e.l.f. beauty blender and it's clean. But you can't wet them, it says to use them dry, so yeah. So. Switch brushes. I mean, dot, 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 dot. Just be a little too light. But I'm liking the coverage. Like it covers pretty well. So I'm just gonna take this um, L'Oreal, L'Oreal, no L'Oreal, L'Oreal Tree Match Lumi Healthy Luminous Makeup. Um, what I didn't like about this is it's like not liquidy. It's really, really creamy. And I don't really use um, cream based stuff that often. So I kind of have to figure out, I probably should use a wet beauty blender. Let me read the directions, because sometimes. Just kind of look ghostly right now, but you know, no biggie, no biggie. Okay, so for concealer, I am using the L'Oreal True Match in the color uh, Fair Light. So back with my Cody Airspoon powder, I am just going to, actually, I'm gonna uh, contour my face first. So I don't wanna, ooh. I'm gonna contour my face first, but and I don't wanna do cream contour. So I'm just gonna go in and take this brush, some small brush. With this bronze color.
453. And while I'm baking, I am going to put my lashes on off camera. Just to kill time. Right there. For blush, I am using this sample blush that I got when I was subscribed to uh, Ips, Ipsy. I think it's called Ipsy. Okay, so I'm just gonna. This blush kind of like a highlighter to me, but. Okay, I want my cheeks kind of more rosy. So, I'm gonna make a cosmetics blush. Just gonna do that. Okay. So for lips, I am using Kylie Jenner's um, Ginger, and I'm excited. So, so I'm gonna put the lip liner on first. First, I'm using any of Kylie's products, so I'm definitely liking it. I was scared to use them at first because I've heard so much negative feedback. Like, her bottles being like half empty and stuff like that, and I was like, uh uh. I put a lot, so we're gonna let that try to dry. The last thing I am going to do is highlight. This is the um, Artisan Color Bake Bronzer for Black Radiance. And it's in the color Beautiful 3519. I'm gonna put everything I use in my description box. All right, highlighter, you gotta give me life. That makes the highlighter stick better. I don't know why, but it does, and I just like that method too. So. Oh, yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I will see y'all in my next video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye!